Hi class. Um, I'd like to make a video to try to answer these examples, uh, this type of example of chapter 9. It could also be used in chapter 8 for confidence intervals, but uh, perhaps I should uh, make a video for that. But for chapter 9, I was asked to explain how to get a p-value, which is the part B of the question. Um, and I was sent this question by um, a student who used the feature in course compass called Ask My Professor sent me the example which I clicked on and I'm now in the software that helps me establish uh, the create the video that I'm hoping you'll, you'll be able to see. So we want to uh, again create a p-value for this uh, two sample hypothesis testing question, I'm sorry, one sample hypothesis testing question using the T um, and while I mentioned in other documents that you could use many uh, online calculators or PHSTAT or Excel or really very very many different types the mo most convenient and user-friendly is already attached to the embedded in a program called StatCrunch. So let's get into StatCrunch which we're going to get into let's make this a little bit bigger get into stat get into stat you want to do t statistics using one sample as opposed to two samples which is chapter 10 and we're going to do it not with the data but with the summary because this example doesn't give us the raw data it gives us the mean and the standard deviation summary the mean in this case is 8.161 8.161 the standard deviation is 0 0.058, 0 0.058, and the sample size is an even 50. Next, we want to do the null hypothesis. We're comparing that number against an ideal value of 8.17, the null value hypothesized mean parameter value. It's a two-sample two test. We don't want to have it higher than 8.17 or lower than 8.17 in test. We want to say simply ask: Is it different then? Is there evidence that the where to go? Um, is there evidence is different from 8.17? And we don't want a confidence interval. We want the p-value. So you go to next and calculate, and the p-value is 2779, which of course matches up with the answer 2779 uh, that the homework provides. So hopefully this was helpful. And I like, well, as always, I'd like your feedback and hope you're enjoying the class.